Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Jeffrey Ziong and Wesley So. This is a game from United States Chess Championship 2017. Jeffrey Ziong had white pieces and he started with d4. Wesley So played knight to f6, c4, e6, g3, d5, so we have a cutout opening. Bishop to g2, bishop to e7, knight to f3, and both players castled kingside. D takes on c4, queen to c2, a6, a4. Bishop to d7 intending, bishop to c6. Rook to d1, bishop to c6, knight to c3. And now, bishop takes on f3. Bishop takes bishop, knight to c6. Inviting bishop takes knight on c6, and this is what happened. Pawn takes bishop. Black's pawn structure is damaged, but white no longer has his light square bishop. Bishop to g5, rook to b8, placing the rook on the semi open file. e3, c5. d takes on c5, discovered attack on the queen. Queen to e8, rook to d4, knight to d7, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, c6, attack in the knight, knight to e5, queen to e4, queen to c5, and now knight to d5. Very interesting move by Jeffrey Ziong. Black to move, how would you continue? If e takes on d5, then queen takes on e5. What else? If knight to g6, knight takes on c7. Wesley so played knight to d3. Knight takes pawn on c7. Of course, rook takes on c4 doesn't work because queen takes on d5. And after queen takes, pawn takes and black is winning. Back to our game. Knight takes pawn on c7. Black to move. I guess rook takes pawn on b2 comes to mind. It looks like a very sensible move. But there was a surprise. Wesley so played knight takes pawn on f2, sacrificing the knight. King takes knight. What else? Rook takes on b2 check. King to f1 and now queen to h5. White to move. Queen to g4 was played. If h4, then queen to e2 check. King to g1, queen to f2 check. King to h1, queen to h2 checkmate. Back to our game. Queen to g4 was played. Queen takes pawn on h2. Queen to f3 just managing to defend white king. Black to move. What now? How can black continue? Did black run out of steam? Wesley so played c3. Rook to c1. And now e5 attacking the rook on d4. Rook to h4. If something like rook to d7, then e4. Deflecting the queen, and after say queen takes on e4, queen to have to checkmate. So in the game, Jeffrey Zion played rook to h4, attacking the queen, queen to d2, rook to d1, attacking the queen. If something like rook to e1, then black has time to play c2. So we have rook to d1 attacking the queen. I guess this is the most interesting moment of the game. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? If queen goes to c2, then knight to d5. 
Wesley saw played an unbelievable move. Rook to d8, defending the queen. What a move. Why to move? Knight to d5. If rook takes on d2, then rook takes rook. Rook from d takes on d2 with a deadly threat. Rook to b1 check. If king goes to g1, then rook to b1 check. Queen to f1. Rook takes queen check. King takes rook. c2. Rook to c4. Rook to d1 check. King to e2. Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook. Knight to d5. And now black plays the obvious. What is the obvious move? The obvious is king to f8. If rook takes on c6, then white wins. Knight to e7 check. And after king goes to f8, knight takes rook. So after knight to d5, king to f8, and after c7, king to e8, and black is winning. Back to our game. We have knight to d5, cutting the communication between the rook and the queen. What now? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Wesley so played, rook takes knight on d5. The only good move. Rook to d4, a desperate move. How to capture the rook? With the pawn or with the rook? Rook takes rook on d4. What's wrong with e takes on d4? What's wrong with that move? How would you continue this position if you had white pieces? White has a winning move, believe it or not. Then c7, and white is winning. Back to our game. Wesley saw, recaptured with the rook. e takes on d4. Black to move. Black played a move and white resigned. The move is queen takes rook check. c2 also wins, but it takes longer. One line goes like this. Rook takes on d2. Pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Rook to d1, queen to c4 check, king to g1, e takes on d4. So Wesley so played the best move. Queen takes rook, check, and white resigned in view of this continuation. Queen takes queen, c2, queen to d2, rook to b1 check, king to g1, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. And if white can only sneeze and knock off the board the pawn on d4, then he would be able to give checkmate on d8. Just kidding. What a brilliant game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.